You know, we're all looking forward to spring and summer, especially for those delicious fruits and vegetables that you find at the local farmer's market. Well, Merritt Bates Thomas is here to tell us about the season opener for the Owensboro Regional Farmer's Market. It's good to see you. Good to see you, Angie. Yes, tomorrow is the big day our 2022 season begins. I can't believe you're starting now. You know, because the things aren't in vegetables and fruit, but you have many vendors who aren't fruits and vegetables. True. Our fruit and vegetable vendors will be there with what they have in terms of early crops. But we have vendors that bring the meat to the market. Uh, we have beef, pork, chicken, you name it. We have baked good vendors as well. I know. I've seen them. <laughs> Quite a few of them. We have some floral vendors. Last year, for the first time, we had someone bringing doggy treats. Oh, cool. Yes. So, great variety, great atmosphere. Uh, have several food trucks signed up to participate as well. So, you can eat. What time are you going to open tomorrow? 8 to 12 Saturdays is our standard operating hours, and we'll run through the end of October on Saturdays. Then, beginning in June, we begin our middle of the week market days. So, Tuesdays will be there from 8 to 12. Thursdays, uh, in 2019, we experimented with Thursday night markets, and that was a huge success. Cool. That is a great So idea. our Thursday market day, we've shifted, and it's a four to seven from uh, June through at least August. Now, are those the same vendors, or do you find you have different vendors in the evening markets? You know, it varies. We have the standard vendors and a few that are there. If the market's open, they're going to be there, <laughs> whatever they have. And then there's for different markets because of their clientele. Some of our farmers and vendors have other jobs. Well, sure. And the, the farmer's market is a sideline for them. So that's just the win-win. But the Thursday evening markets, when they start up again in June, that really became a little bit more festive. It was different. It was an early start to the weekend, too, for a lot of people doing some food shopping. Well, Thursday nights have gotten, gotten to be the, or it's the new Friday. You know, of all is. the events used to be Friday night, and now they've <laughs> moved them back so people have the whole weekend. But it really, it works well. So it, are you needing vendors now? Are you pretty well booked up? Well, we have plenty of vendors, but we never turn anyone away, or usually never turn anyone away. So what we encourage people to do, if they have an interest in being a vendor, contact our market manager. You can go through Davis County Cooperative Extension, or Owensboro Regional Farmers Market has a Facebook page. We also have a website. We have an Instagram page as well, OR Farmers Market. Uh, but reach out. Many people use Messenger to contact us. Reach it out works. that way, and then you become a floater. So you don't have a designated spot like vendors who signed on at the beginning of the year. But you get established in the market and get to know the ropes. Where are you located? Great question. At the corner of Parish and Triplet. And that official uh, address is 1205 Triplet Street. So you the can't entrance, miss it because that no, wonderful piv pavilion is there. Huge pavilion that's about four or five years old now. Worked long and hard to bring that to life. And now uh, we're not only under the pavilion, but spread out in the parking lot as well. Well, congratulations, Mary. This is such a big deal and what an asset to our community. Perhaps you can get Donnie Mays to be one of your vendors <laughs> at the farmer's market. We've been talking. <laughs> oh, well, good. You all have each other's cards. Well, Donnie will be here in a, in a minute, but thank you so much for thank being you, with Angie. us. Thank you, Angie. Great Talk to be to here. Soon.